What was the most shocking thing you heard the quiet kid say? So this one kid, who barely ever said two words, one day, asks the teacher for the time. It was at some after school thing and there was no clock. The teacher says the classic time for you to get a watch, which for some reason was funny to everyone else. The quiet kid doesn't laugh. He looks the teacher dead in the eyes, and wants everyone quieted down. He says so are you gonna tell me the frickin' time, or what? We were in like, 7th grade. Can't blame him. Can't tell you how many times I've heard that stupid joke. Whenever that happens, just say I'd get a watch if I had the time. In class we were studying genetics and one guy was being a real douche and the teacher couldn't get him to shut up. Then after discussing inbreeding and dogs one quiet kid raises his hand and says. So is this likely how Peter, douche, became so freaking retarded? What if we killed everyone with cancer to stop it from spreading? You finally decide to speak and that is what you go with? Jesus freaking Christ, what good are you, you mute freak? This douchebag kid who constantly fricked with people was in line with the quiet kid and the quiet kid's friend. The quiet kid is a bit overweight so when he gets up to the lunch lady and gets his chicken nuggets, the douchebag says you don't want extra nuggets big guy? The quiet kid out of nowhere just starts ranting. No I am all set, but what are you up to this weekend? You wanna hang out grab some food maybe frick a bit? I like to be on top and you look like a bottom. What do you say wanna frick tonight? The entire line is dead silent. The douchebag starts getting all pissed off and acting like he's gonna start a fight and the quiet kid says okay fine you can be top baby. The douchebag kid leaves to the entire line laughing their asses off at his expense. No idea if the quiet kid was gay or he just knew that even jokingly suggesting the douche kid was a homosexual would upset him more than anything. But I do know he left the line with his delicious chicken nuggets and a huge smile on his face. Freaking Trevor Phillips right there. In junior high in the mid 80s the game Trivial Pursuit was all the rage. We played it in math class one day and this kid, Gary, who never said anything at all totally spanked everyone else by answering every single sports related trivia question. He got a lot of attention for it and I believe he walked a little taller after that day. I don't think I ever heard him say anything else, but I did see him sitting on the bleachers at a few sports events. It was the moops. At school, having just shown me the scope for a, supposedly his, sniper rifle. If the fire alarm ever goes off and you can't find me, don't use the doors as an exit. Well, he was nice enough to warn you. Better to be his friend than his target practice. The quiet kid from my grade stood up one day, grabbed a broom, stood on a chair and began trying to swat bees that got inside. One bee landed on the window where quiet kid proceeded to yell die bee die and then swatted and shattered the window. He screeched when it happened and then sat back down. Never heard him speak again. That man is going to Valhalla after a bee related incident. One of my students hardly said a word all year until a couple weeks ago. I was trying to get a group of talkative ones under control and she had enough. She yells out shut the frick up. I am trying to work you fricking assholes. Awkward silence followed, because I didn't know how to handle the normally studious and quiet one losing it. I was like this in middle school. Not exactly quiet, but I never really socialized except with people right beside me in the form of asking for a pencil. One day the classroom douche happened to be more douche than I could stand for and I stood up out of my seat and yelled at him and sat back down. The entire class fell silent, but he never got that douche again. I was best friends with the quiet kid in middle school. It wasn't so much shocking as the stupidest thing I've heard him say. He got this thousand yard stare all of a sudden and just said I can't remember what color my dog is. In high school. There was this really quiet girl named Grace. She was a pleasant person, but wouldn't say anything more than hi or sorry unless you asked her something. Even then, she'd appear terrified. It was at prom, and I was in the parking lot of the venue we had prom at. I lost a contact, and had to run to my car to grab my glasses. In the parking lot, Grace was smiling and walking from her car. She looked at me, laughed, and said Ryan, her prom date just fingered the frick out of me. I still laugh about it to this day. Or, 
I saw this comment before Krusty's, and thought maybe it'll be a heartwarming story. Nope, but it did warm up some fingers. I don't know, I'm always happy to hear about someone having a normal teenage experience without getting hurt. Bro, literally this question came at a perfect time. I was just thinking about this and it was by far in sophomore year of high school. This kid was so odd that honestly no one ever really noticed him. But one day he's sitting across from me at a table and he sees this one girl in really tight shorts and goes. God damn I could have my head up her ass for months. It was pretty shocking. 72 virgins is nowhere near enough virgins for eternity. That's like, um, a week's worth of virgins. The quiet ones get all the pussy. The meek shall inherit the puss. But not its mineral rights. In kindergarten, there was this kid, Donatel, and he never said a word. He was nice enough, played games and everything but completely silent. One day we were looking out the classroom window as a cop drove by. Donatel opens his mouth and says police car. At the time, we were all excited to hear him speak, but looking back, that kid must have had some real dark history. Living in a sewer with three brothers and a talking rat who forces you to do karate all day does that to you. Playing rugby, Booker fails completely at line out. Someone shouts jokingly, does anyone know any good hookers to replace Patrick? Quietest guy on the team, never hear him say anything. Maybe Patrick's mum can help. Proceed to fall on floor. Or oh man, Booker jokes. I miss rugby. As an American who knows nothing about rugby I thought you were talking about a prostitute, and was truly confused as to why a hooker was playing rugby. Alright, it's $80 an hour, what do you want to do with me? Wink. We need even teams for rugby. My asshole is this big while making a circle with her fingers. Nothing. Let me explain. I took a class with Soong Hui Cho, the Virginia Tech shooter, one semester before the shooting. The class was called Contemporary Horror. It was a one-time elective offered by my favorite professor. We read horror novels and watched horror films and discussed the craft of creating scary stories, but also how they reflected or represented their era's fears. It was a great class. There were only about 15 students and it was discussion heavy. Cho was one of them. I honestly never noticed him, even in that small class, until halfway into the semester. He wasn't quiet, he was silent. So on the day we all finally noticed him, our professor asked him something directly, and Cho just stared at him. I can't remember the question, but the nature of it meant silence was potentially an acceptable and funny response. So we all laughed. Except Cho. He just kept staring at our professor. Our laughter awkwardly died, and after a few moments of uncomfortable silence, our professor just said, ooh okay, and moved on. It was so strange. But I forgot about that weird moment until after his rampage. That professor later told me that Cho's papers had been disturbing, but the nature of our course meant the envelope was being pushed a bit, and it had never been bad enough to suggest he'd do what he did. That professor was a good man, and he admitted he struggled with not blaming himself on some level for one. Not identifying how severe Cho's mental health problems were in two. For the graphic and terrible nature of some of what we watched in that class which may have inspired Cho. He knew that was bullet, but a part of him couldn't help, but feel some blame. It was terribly sad. Well this changes the tone of the thread. I think this type of answers is what OP was looking for. There was this one quiet girl in my class. And she would never say anything this was around 3rd or 4th grade, but I would always try and get her to talk. I would be nice, like when she had no paper in her binder I'd take notice and give her some before she can ask. When she was searching for a pencil in her bag I gave her an extra one I had. It was like small little acts, picking up her pencil when she dropped it etc. Then at lunch this kid was picking on me, I was short, weak, and very emotional back then. She came out of nowhere and told the guy I'll give you 3 seconds to walk away. I was stunned, because those were the first words I've ever heard her say. The guy slapped me, and she did a straight kick to his balls after that. I was honored, and shocked she ever said anything. She never said anything after that, but I did say thanks. I'm disappointed you guys didn't fall in love and get married. 
I didn't want to say this, but we did kiss when I had to move away because of my parents divorcing. That was a year later and I didn't really think much of it until I started high school. That's the furthest we ever got though, and she never said anything around me besides that one event though. We were chilling at a bar in Prague and someone rolled up some hash oil and tobacco and passed it around. The quiet kid hit it and got even quieter. 20 minutes later some aggressive, growling black metal comes on and out of nowhere he yells. Kill your parents. We freaking lost it. He was pretty happy with himself. I think quiet kid just told you why he was quiet. They thought I was joking. I must never smoke anything again.